بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ہیلو ایوری ون اینڈ ویلکم ٹو مائی یوٹیوب چینل کمپیوٹر نیٹک زون فار اندر ایکسائٹنگ لیکچر اینڈ ٹو ڈے آئی ول بی ڈسکسنگ اباؤٹ سسٹم یونٹ سو لیٹ اسٹارٹ اینڈ ڈسکس اور ٹاپک ان ڈیٹیل سو سسٹم یونٹ سسٹم یونٹ از the rectangular case that contains electronic components of the computer system and the components of the system unit are motherboard processor control unit ALU that is arithmetic logic unit and register so let discuss each of the component in detail so motherboard first we have is a motherboard motherboard is also known as system board and is a main circuit in a system unit and it provides connectivity between the hardware components of a computer so if someone asks you that what is the role of a motherboard or what is actually the function of the motherboard the mother motherboard functions is to provide connectivity between the hardware components of a computer so we have its components like expansion slot capacitor memory slot bios screw hole serial ata connectors system panel connectors heat sink inductor super input output rate not bridge usb header jumpers these are all the components of a motherboard so what actually motherboard does it connects all these components in a computer so there are various types of motherboard so we can discuss three very common types uh, like uh, AT, AT motherboard which is advanced technology motherboard next we have is ATX motherboard that is advanced technology extended motherboard and the third one we have is LPX motherboard that is low profile extended motherboard so these are the three types three major types of motherboard the next we have is control unit so before going towards the control unit let's have some discussion about the processors the processors or a cpu is the electronic device that interprets and carry out the instructions that tell the computer how to work so basically processor is an electronic device that interprets instructions and those instructions basically tell the computer at how to work the so CPU contains a very single chip and that is called processor so processor basically consists of control unit arithmetic logic unit and registers these three components make them a processor so let's discuss each of these in detail so first one we have is a control unit so what actually control unit does it regulates and integrates operations of the computer it controls the transfer of data and instructions in a CPU if someone asks you what is the role of control unit so you will definitely say that it regulates 
different operations of the computer and it integrates different operations of the computer and it controls the instructions in the CPU and it also controls the transfer of data in central processing unit. So when we discuss that it controls the instructions in the CPU so for each of these instructions control unit repeats a set of four basic operations that is called machine cycle or instruction cycle so this cycle includes fetch instruction What's, what control unit does it first fetch the instruction it decode the instruction it read address from the memory and then it executes the instruction so these four basic operations have been performed in these control unit next we have is arithmetic unit or ALU ALU or arithmetic logic unit is a digital circuit performs arithmetic and logical operations it is a building block of CPU the core component of CPU is a ALU so when we talk about the arithmetic operations uh, we have addition subtraction multiplication and deviant so if you are performing any addition operation like 2 plus 2 equals to 4 this is stored in ALU if you are doing any subtraction like 8 minus 2 equal to 6 so this operation is performed in perform and stored in ALU if you are going to perform any multiplication like 3 multiplied by 4 equals to 12 so this multiplication operation is performed and stored in ALU if you are going to, to have a deviant like 36 divided by 6 equals to 6 so this operation is stored in arithmetic logic unit if you are going to perform various gates function like AND gate or operation or not operation there is a logic gate logic these are logic gates so these logical operations are also stored whatever you perform a logic operation these are stored in arithmetic logic unit so and also the comparison operations like um, you are comparing one data with another in computer if you are comparing two separate data separate data and determine that which of the following is a greater for example if you have uh, if you uh, if you are you know uh, performing operation like uh, one data one file has 50, pap 50 pap papers and the next file has 70 papers now if you are telling the computer to show me which of the following is the greatest it will definitely give an answer a file B that have has 70 papers so this operation which is which of the following is the greatest is performed in ALU so the comparison operation you have arithmetic operations and if you are a control if you are using any of the logical operations these are all performed and stored in arithmetic logic unit next we have is registers registers are high-speed temporary storage location that is used to hold data and instructions we have few types of registers first we have is IR input register as quite evident from its name it stores input characters given by the user if you are entering any data like your name like chair if you are entering suppose chair if you are given input chair and that input character C H A I R these are all characters so these characters are stored in in 
IR input registers if you are writing that my name is Michael so this whole sentence is stored in IR input register OR next we have is output register it stores output of the processing of input if you are giving certain input to the computer and a computer process that input and then give you an output that is stored in output register next we have is MAR memory address register which is a 12 bits register that hold address for memory location next we have is MDR memory data register it holds the number of the transistors so the number of transistors is stored in MDR that is memory data register next we have is PC that is program counter which is a 12 bits register that hold the address of a next instructions to be read from the memory after current instruction is being executed suppose you have two instructions instruction A and instruction B or you can say we have three instructions A B and C now the first instructions to be executed is A then B and then C so this what this register or PC program counter does is that it stores the address of the B when instruction A is being executed you know it's it it will tell it tells the computer that okay instruction A is now he now the system is executing the instruction A and the next instructions instruction to be executed is B so when B is being executed then it will show it will holds the address of the next instruction that is C so in the memory so this what this is a role of a program counter so that's all about system unit if you have any question you can ask in the comment section I will definitely respond there and if you haven't subscribed to my channel you can subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon so that you can get more updates and more videos informative videos in future thank you and have a great day